and Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a really good Christmas and a really good New Year's, and I hope that you're super excited and super pumped for 2017. So, one of the videos I thought I would do would just be a little bit of a Christmas haul here. So, first of all, I have to say, of course, that this is no way bragging. I'm not like, haha, look what I got. This is just, I know that I personally like washing hauls, so I thought you guys might want to, as well as some of these products and things that I've gotten will be in uh, future videos. So, yeah. Um, and I also wanted to say sorry that there was no uh, beauty video out on Wednesday, but due to the fact that I got back Tuesday and then Wednesday I was like super tired, I just couldn't film. So, yeah. But we'll be back to regular scheduling starting this week. So, yeah. First uh, thing I've got to show you will be the movie I got, which is uh, Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So, uh, the video that I'm going to actually do with this one will be a comparison between this and the book. So, look forward to that, because this is... the I've watched it already, and it's, let's just say, it's very interesting to watch this after reading the book. So, yes, you will see that. Um, let's get into some houseware things that I did get. I got... Gotta close this. I got a um, travel mug that I'm actually drinking of right, out of right now. And it's for loose leaf tea and one of my favorite parts of it not even gonna lie because I'm a child is get close up. <laughs> and in it I am drinking uh, this one that I got from David's tea apple cider and I also got this one which I tried yesterday and I like both of them so I'm really impressed with these teas I'm super excited to continue drinking them um, and I also got some other ones but those weren't for Christmas those were like an after Christmas thing but um, if you're interested in any videos on tea, let me know. Uh, another houseware thing I got was my new Spider-Man mug, which I'm super excited about. Um, yeah, I like Spider-Man, which is, I don't know something if I've told you guys, but I'm like super obsessed with Spider-Man. So I got this, and then something else that is kind of related, um, it's kind of houseware, it's decoration, and it's also Spider-Man, is um, it's the black Spider-Man suit. It's a bobblehead. Um, yeah, so I started collecting these. Not too long ago, because my boyfriend collects them more than I do usually. I collect the comic books and he collects these usually. Um, but on my shelf, oh it's over there, on my shelf there, I have a whole bunch and one day maybe I'll take you through them. But yeah, so I have a whole bunch over there. So yeah, that was all my housey, houseware type things. Um, and then we'll move into books. So the first one here that I have is Cloud Atlas. So I've actually watched the movie and I really liked it, so I wanted to read the book. So after I read the book, I will re-watch the movie and do an kind of, like I'm going to do with Pride, Pride and Precious, with this one. This is Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So I'll do a similar thing once I have read the book. I'm super excited because this movie was my favorite. One of my, one of my favorite movies. I thought it was so good. And no, I don't normally get them with the movie cover on it, but it was bought for me, so it was bought like that. Um... Next one is a super graphic, which is basically just a bunch of, like, graphs and stuff. All those superheroes and comic books. So, yeah, like, who is the fastest man alive? And then it gives you all the information. So, yeah, it's kind of really random, um, but it's also kind of nice because, I don't know, it's just, like, random bits of... What's the word? It's just like useless information. And who doesn't love to have random bits of useless information? But it's all about superheroes. So, yeah, I like The Walking Dead Killer Count. Oh, Kill Counter. There you go. By humans, by death. Huh. So, got the issue up top, and then. And then, overall deaths by humans versus zombies. I mean, it's not, like, something that, like, you need or anything, but it's kind of cool to have, and I'll probably go through it, and then I'll have a bunch of random information to be able to just spew out at people. So, that's great. The next one actually got given to my boyfriend, but it was on my list, but it's the Cape Crusade, uh, Batman and the Rise of, uh, Nerd Culture, so I've been getting into reading books that are not fan, like, fiction recently, so, yeah, I'm really excited to read this one. A riveting and entertaining history that chronicles the rise and fall of one of the world's most beloved superheroes from comic book crusader to big screen idol and explains what our fandom says about us. 
So yeah, I read, oh, it's, oh, it's social sciences. It says that at the back. Um, I read Walking Dead, uh, psychology. So it's all about kind of the psychology behind some of the things in The Walking Dead. So then I was interested in this one. Um, along the same lines, I actually got a, I don't know why, I got a sociology book. I really, like I asked for it, I don't know why, but I saw this and it's a complete introduction. Comprehensive and easy introduction to understanding sociology and the social, social sciences. So, I don't know, I kind of like psychology and sociology. Sociology. <laughs> sociology. I can't speak today. Anyway, I like it, so I thought it would be kind of cool. Um, there's, like, quizzes and stuff in here. So that's kind of cool. I don't know. I, I'm really, really kind of... I used to, when I was younger, read books like this. Like, I wrote... One time I read an entire book on... Epilepsy. I was like 14. I read an entire book on epilepsy for some reason. And I used to do that all the time, but I don't anymore. I only read fiction books. So I'm this one and the other one are to start getting back into my other books, as well as Marvel Comics The Untold Story. So yeah, this is just about Marvel Comics basically. So I'm super excited to read this. I don't know if it'll talk. I think it talks about the superheroes too, not just like the, uh, what's the word? Not just how the comics were made, but it's also like a little bit about the stories, Marvel stories. So get a little bit of history there. And then I also got Simply Tuesday, A Mo Small Moment Living in a Fast World, uh, Braver, The Courage to Find the you that's hi behind, been hiding, sorry, and worry-free living, and these are just some books from a religious store in Chatham, just kind of that help with like when you have anxiety and stuff, which I definitely do. So I'm excited to read these. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see what they're like. Oh, brazen. Uh, I don't know why I thought it's a braver. Brazen. Oh gosh. Some handwriting I can't read. This apparently is one of them. But yeah, so I'm kind of excited. This one's kind of small and tiny and cute. So I guess I could just carry this with me everywhere I go. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. And I'm and I'm going to see if this helps, hopefully. Then on to some jewelry that I got for Christmas. So this one was kind of funny because I actually have tunnels. Um, and this person did not know that. So... They got me these, which are really pretty, and I can wear them underneath my, um, underneath my tunnels, but yeah, she was like, I hope you wear long earrings, and I was like, well, actually, not usually, because I don't have ear holes for them all. I guess I could put them in here, but I think that would look stupid, so I'm not going to do that. Then, from my, uh, in-laws, which, like, sorry, uh, which made me kind of tear up a little bit is, oh, no, not that one, here we go is this necklace that they got me. It says, every family has a story, welcome to ours. So this is probably like one of my favorite gifts that I got, cause it's just like, I don't know, sometimes I worry that they didn't like me that much. So this is just kind of them welcoming me, welcoming me into the family and that meant a lot. So yeah, I was super excited about that. And then something I got from my boyfriend's grandma, which is this um, cross, so a new one, cause I have one, but. Yeah, so now I have a nice new one. I might wear this one more mostly for like fancy evenings out, I guess. Or fancy events, I guess. I don't know. But I really like its makeup, so we're going to get into that. So I'm not going to show you all the makeup brushes I got just because there's a lot of them. And I'm probably going to do a separate video on it. But, yeah, so they're from Makeup, what is it? Makeover Essentials. So, yeah. Like this giant fan brush some concealer brushes, some face powder brushes, and a lot of like eyeshadow -y brushes, which actually I'm super excited about having because I feel like I never have enough of these dense flat brush ones. So yeah, so I'm excited about these. Um, and on the topic of brushes, and super exciting for me, um, my mother and my, and my grandma for my Christmas present have decided to get me some Morphe brushes. So I'm getting the what is it, like a 30 master set with the belt. Um, 
now, this is not just necessarily because I like makeup, this is also because I'm doing a wedding in April, so these are to help me with that. But yeah, so I'm super excited to get those. I haven't gotten them yet, so I can't show them to you, but um, I'm going to do a video on these brushes, a video on those brushes, and maybe even one comparing the two. So yeah, so just keep up a look for those. Um, along the lines of that makeup brand, I got more makeup. I got a little bag that had a bunch of makeup on it, in it, like this mascara, which I actually have on right now, and I'm like super digging, but look at how long that is. I feel like that's super long. I don't know. But I'm actually super digging this, so I'm excited for that. Um, this tiny little, like, I think it's supposed to be for, like, your purse. So it's got, like, lip glosses, eyeshadows. I don't know if those are supposed to be, like, contour shades. I'm not really sure. But, yeah. Oh, oh no. Let's see if I can put it back together. No, don't go that way. There we go. So, that's kind of cool. You could, like, put it in your purse, I guess. Um, and it came with a bunch of, like, an eyeliner, some brushes, and a bunch of two-ended brushes, but I'll just probably leave them in my drawer. I might maybe put them in my purse at some point, but for right now, we'll just leave them in my drawer. I got this thing, which is a little scary looking. It's, like, a eyelash curler. Um, yeah, I've never seen one this shape. And it, like, folds up. This thing folds up, and then it, like, goes down. And then you got an eyelash curler. So... That's a little nifty thing. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this one. This one's a little scary looking. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I might try it. I might be too scared to try it. We'll see. Um, and then there was some lip glosses. Yeah. They feel a little sticky. I guess we'll see. So I got, they don't really have colors. No, they don't have, like, color names or anything on them, but so there's this one. Yeah, I'll show you. So there's this pink one. There's this purpley pink one. There's a matte one, which I'm super excited for because this one is definitely more up my alley. Yeah, see? I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's a little sticky, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, very sticky. We'll see. And then this one, which is like a kind of similar, I would say, to that one, but more shimmery. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about these ones just yet because I haven't had a chance to try them on and like, wear them all day. But I do plan on doing like an in an in depth uh, review on every product that I got just because I've never heard of this brand before. So it'll be interesting. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. My sister is singing. Um, so anyway, um, and then I got this, which is kind of like a little travel, um, feels like a little travel thing with, so there's like two, an eyeshadow, a gel liner, a shimmer highlight, oh no, shimmer, brown powder, black liner, and a highlighter. So I don't know. I'm wearing this blush, and I tried to use this, but it doesn't really, like, it's not super pigmented or anything. Like, I don't know. I don't think you can even see that. Um, I'm wearing a little bit of this. Again, I don't know if you can see these colors very well. They're, like, yeah, so, that one. So, yeah, um, that's the makeup that I got, and I think that's everything that I got for Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I and I hope you guys are looking forward to some of the videos that I'm going to be doing with some of these products. Um, I'm super excited to be able to test out this new product and um, see how I think of it and if it's any good. And especially, I think it's mid-range in price, so I don't think it's like especially low price, but it's mid-range. So if you're not wanting drugstore, but you're not necessarily wanting high-end, maybe this will be good. I will test it and let you know. So, and I'm excited to read these books and let you know my thoughts on those. And yeah, so I hope that you guys had an amazing Christmas. I hope you guys got lots of what you wanted and were able to give lots to people. Let me know down below what you got, if you got any makeup products, what you thought of it, any books you got that you're super excited for. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, so I'll see you next Wednesday with another beauty video. And I am, yeah, so 
See you guys later.